Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome back to another unboxing video. This time round, it is actually not um, unboxing for, well, um, May. But, you know, this is the first video that actually will coincide with June as well because some of the items here actually came a lot faster um, than expected and it actually, well, matches with one of the other items that came in May. So I decided to add it along with this video because it, it just fits the theme all together. So, yes, but before we begin, I have been planning to change the series name of this um, unboxing series. Um, I've been planning maybe to use the name of the culture unboxing because, well, I am a man of the culture. I have followed a lot of anime series, a lot of Japanese pop culture, Japanese traditional culture as well. Um, and yeah, and I'm a big Macross fan as you guys know it. So what better way to celebrate culture, uh, be it pop or traditional, um, with the word, the culture that came from Macross. So if you guys like the idea of it let me know in the comments down below or maybe if you yourself can think of something better to go by uh, other than the culture because it just sounds too degenerate <laughs> you know uh just give me toss me your ideas toss them all in the comments down below and then maybe we'll think of something um better to name this unboxing series that i somehow do monthly but you know now that i'm breaking out of the monthly trend <laughs> I guess uh, so anyway guys I'm gonna start with something a bit unique like I said um, because this one doesn't really have anything to do with Japan but rather to do with anything Asian <laughs> or well Japan is part of Asia I suppose eh, but you know it, it's not an ASEAN country so uh, I don't know <laughs> anyways um, what I'm specifically talking about is basically something to do with, um, you know, the Chinese culture or the hawker culture in Singapore and Malaysia, um, because both countries very, are very similar when it comes to hawker culture. Um, if you guys don't know what hawker culture is, it's basically a hawker center or a, a eatery, um, I would say center or uh, it's a gigantic space area where people gather to have their meals together uh, out in the open and they have individual stores that sell different kind of um, cuisines and you know local delicacies and all that kind of stuff so we call it a hawker center um, or hawker basically so um, I actually got something um, from a poster shop in Singapore um, so uh, kudos credits to poster hub Singapore you guys know who you are if you guys are watching this video thank you guys for joining me on this very interesting unboxing video where I actually unbox one of the items I actually got from you guys I have another one that I was planning to unbox but you know the movie got delayed <laughs> so if you guys are watching this um, look forward to the unboxing I guess next year because the movie got delayed to next year I you know because of the COVID-19 situation so <laughs> I don't know when I'll be doing that unboxing because um, the world isn't getting any better so <laughs> take care you guys make sure you guys stay clean and healthy wash your hands whenever you can uh, sanitize yourself uh, if you're outside of the house that kind of stuff so I'm gonna show you guys um, three miniature canvases um, that I actually got as a gift for one of my favorite hawker couple um, um, hawker store basically near my workplace the the uncle and auntie or you know the senior folks who run that um, particular store took really good care of me during the past three years that I've been working full-time with this company yes it's been almost three years since I got this job and um, I have been patronizing them um, ever since you know I got this job so and on days when I actually got sick um, they would actually go out of their way to take care of me so uh, heart heart to you uncle and auntie <laughs> that's why I'm doing this um, I actually got three of this um, miniature plaques from poster hub so we go so you can see for yourself poster hub so yeah kudos to poster hub once again so I actually got three of these plaques um, they are 
actually very solid wood um well kind of because right now they are covered in plastic because gotta protect the goods so you can tell this is like a traditional hawker style poster design um basically it's in chinese but they do have english translations on it so i found it very cute when they actually advertise this um on their facebook page uh, i'll link their facebook page in the description as well so if you guys have any movie posters and if you guys are in singapore sadly to say i think they don't do international shipping at this point in time mainly because of the covid situation but i think they did do international shipping um before uh, I might be wrong though, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> so anyways, um, so this is just one of them. So basically it says here in Chinese, uh, 吃早餐, um, basically is to eat breakfast. So it does say here the top traditional breakfast Singapore edition. Although this breakfast can be found in Malaysia as well. So you have Kaya Toast. So if you guys are from outside of Singapore and you ever come to uh, Singapore, do try the traditional breakfast. Um, of course, if you want to order the um, the, <laughs> the breakfast set in Chinese um, so your cafe min pao uh I don't know. I can't read the Chinese. Uh, my Chinese is not fantastic, to be honest. <laughs> Even though I am Chinese myself. But my Chinese is just horrendous. Um, in fact, my Japanese is actually better than my Chinese. <laughs> so, yes. So, this is a very cute one. So, you can see the Gaia bread. Um, Gaia bread. Then we have a cup of coffee. Then we've got the standard pepper and soy sauce shakers um, which you can actually add to your half boiled eggs if you guys have never done this before if if you guys actually want to try making this at home it is actually very easy the only difference the only thing you probably might not be able to get um, you know um, within your own country might be the Gaia spread so um, you can actually try googling recipes for Gaia spread um, I'm sure some Asian people probably have uploaded it somewhere on YouTube anywhere um, that has social media platforms that can show videos and tutorials or even maybe just read up recipes that kind of stuff you can make your own Kaya spread and of course you can do your own Kaya breakfast set half boiled eggs are pretty easy um, you know just get boiling water and soak the eggs in them um, for a certain time period you can google that on how you do half boiled eggs as well uh, and of course you can make it on traditional Chinese um, local style breakfast and well you need the soy sauce so Chinese soy sauce not the sweet kind the salty types so here is the second one this is pretty pretty cute uh, along with this one so these two are pretty much similar in types of um, instructional formats one is for coffee and one is for tea so this this one is tea this is coffee so this one I'm gonna just show you guys up front um, this one shows you the different styles of coffee you can order at the hawker um, the well basically the store that sells drinks so you can learn the terms um, of the different coffee we don't have espresso we don't have cappuccino and all that kind of stuff those you can find at Starbucks and uh, a coffee bean and whatever coffee franchises you have in your own country but this is what we order in traditional hawker styles um, so we have the kopi o kopi kopi si kopi kao kopi po kopi tai, tai lo I think that's how you pronounce it um, uh, it's not exactly Chinese I I can't remember what dialect is it uh, is it Hokkien I don't know but still, <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it so it's a pretty cute design so let's say for example I, I was planning to give this to them because it would be interesting to have like the foreigners visit their store and they see this at their counter and it's like oh oh I want a Kopi O, you know, it can, can you imagine foreigners trying to pronounce the dialect languages of the coffee orders? That would be so cute and it would be very fun as well for both the foreigner and the hawker uncle and auntie who are running the place. Then they can probably start conversations and have fun together um, just, you know, doing what they love, selling drinks. So the other one is tea. So we have Teo, sorry, 
<laughs> this side. Teo, Te, Teisi. It's pretty much the same as the um the coffee version, cause yeah, it, it's just basically the how much like sugar and condensed milk and all that kind of stuff. So we have Te Kao, uh, Te Po. And the other one, this one is actually not Chinese. This is Te Tarik, which is um, actually from the Indian side of uh, the drink store. So Te Tarik basically is your tea where you air it. So you, you, you how you say, it? you pour your tea into another container and you just pull so it, it drips all the way down. You guys probably can, or maybe I'll just do some kind of video montage from another video somewhere that shows um Te Tarik being made so yeah if you guys are interested um to get this for yourself somehow if you're local um you can get it from poster hub once again poster hub so yeah check them out links in the description and yeah um very friendly people very awesome people as well who love movies and the culture of the cinema so yeah <laughs> okay so that aside so that is my local the culture <laughs> within my own um country so i thought it would be something sweet that i could give to the uncle and auntie running the drink store because they took care of me um for three years and ongoing um so yeah i love to see the reactions on their faces if if i do um i guess i'll add photos that i took of them with the thing at their store i don't know I, i'm not sure whether they are camera shy or that kind of stuff but still i'll try my best to um get something nice to put up <laughs> okay so let's move along okay so here are the stuff that came um in may and in june um i kind of unboxed everything already out from their packages i thought it might be an easier way of showing you guys the stuff plus um it might speed things along um because i'm sure some of you might get weary of watching half an hour long unboxing videos okay so first thing first um something a bit older so this is kiono yasuno's latest single for the anime arte um i'm sure you guys probably have watched it i myself have not watched it i have not watched anything this season uh yes yet <laughs> <laughs> even though um the shows are almost ending i think another two more episodes so another two more weeks so if you order yasuno's single of course as always it comes with a bromide so because i got mine from cd japan so i got the cd japan version of the bromide so whichever retail store you order the cd from uh, usually the bonuses end up being different i'm sure you guys are very familiar with that by now and of course this one i'm sure everyone knows about this if you guys follow me on my youtube facebook page you guys know i'm a big macross fan and my generally i think 90 percent of my content is all macross stuff so the latest single for wild Chris, um the song listing where mirai wa onna tame ni uh, aru so I forgot the no in the middle, but yeah, you guys know which single I'm talking about. So if you did order, pre-order this, it comes with a bonus clear file. Um, that's A5 size, a very, very tiny one. So the thing is, on, on, on Twitter, I've seen some of the Japanese got a different kind of uh, clear file where the back actually showcased the Walkure ladies um with the cones on the head so i'm sure you guys know which image i'm talking about i probably might pop the image somewhere here um so yeah that's the one i'm talking about and um surprisingly enough you know i got this from amazon japan this this one is from amazon japan so it didn't come with that version of the clear file um i did order for a friend from cd japan so i'm not too sure what kind of clear file that he get as well so it might be a different one because well different companies but it might be the same thing as well so i don't know maybe maybe the one i saw on twitter being posted could be retail store exclusives like animate the gamers that kind of stuff so yeah anyways um disc aside i have a blu-ray i have 
part two <laughs> of Catrail Latent's TV series. So I did show off uh, but, um, disc one, I think two months ago. Um, so I did promote this TV anime series to you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys went to check it out. Um, it's definitely a way better rendition as compared to its 3DS game, uh, Nintendo Switch game now. Um, you know, the voice I think for the game it isn't exactly fantastic even though it's from it's in Japanese there there is an English edition of the 3DS game um, and the Nintendo Switch one um, which was launched I think half a year late compared to the Japanese one and the English one kind of left was missing something important where the Japanese version actually had trinkets or uh, decor items that you can make into little necklaces or keychains um, you can actually use those items and scan onto the Nintendo Switch to unlock costumes for Catriel uh, which is fantastic um, the Japanese love all this kind of stuff um, sadly to say the English version of the Nintendo Switch game does not come with that function at all so i think you unlock the costumes by paying dlc which is exactly the same as buying the trinkets to be honest but of course you pay for the trinkets so you get accessories that you can actually keep um, unlike the english ones if they come up via dlc that's kind of a, a lost right there for collectors and fans of the series so all right um we're moving along i have um, manga <laughs> that I actually got that I'm probably trying to persuade you guys to read um, as you guys know um, I love my food manga series a lot and of course this one is no different I think some of you or a lot a majority of you probably might not know what this manga series is so I'm just gonna show you guys briefly the artwork on each of the volumes so that's volume one volume 2 and uh, volume 3 and of course volume 4 now the thing about this manga series is that um right now it's currently i think it's currently on volume 14 <laughs> so i am only like volume 4 i'm slowly collecting um it is actually not a very easy manga series to find um it's impossible to find a full complete second hand set of this and the first few volumes are pretty old right now um i can't remember which year they were printed in um yeah it doesn't say here anywhere so yeah um, so if you are planning to pick up this series, um, try and get them as quickly as possible because they might go out of print very soon, especially for the old, older volumes. So what is the manga title of this series? Well, um, it's actually kind of a play on words. Um, it's Maiko San Chi no Makanai San. So, okay. So the thing is... Um, the title actually depicts the story, kind of, where basically this girl um, and her friend... Okay, so I'm going to show you volume... I think volume 3 has the better illustration to, to actually explain. So you can tell Japanese love their Michaels, okay? So um, they were the traditional form of entertainment back then in, I think, the Edo era. Um, so the thing is, this girl, or rather both of them, Okay, these two girls are best friends. Um, their dream was to become um, Michael together. So the thing is, the girl with the red apron ended up not being coming a Michael. Um, so she is the food portion of this manga series. So yes, anything food related, the, the girl in the red apron is your character. While the other part of the story is all... Um, about the culture, the work life of a Michael in Japan. So this manga, if you love Japan's traditional culture, this manga is the thing to go for. It is very detailed. A lot of love has been put into writing this manga series. Um, the artwork itself is pretty simple and adorable. Um, I wouldn't call this a shoujo series, but you know, it does give that kind of flair. And of course, it has your 
a specific kind of lolly um, design as well if you like young girls but of course you have your your standard regular bar chance <laughs> that kind of stuff so yeah so the thing is the girl in the red apron um, she failed to become a Michael because she didn't have the kind of flair and determination to be a Michael or the discipline to be a Michael so she ended up um, picking up a kitchen job she became the, the cook of the Michael house where all the Michaels live in um, for that particular family um, so she ended up becoming the cook so where her best friend became a Michael um, where they were trying out for so you know the the mom of the house discovered that she had a lot of passion and a lot of skill for cooking <laughs> so um, their, their previous um, chef or the person in charge of the food for the Michaels ended up falling sick so they needed to replace her and hold and below um, she ended up picking up the job so yeah she ended up being with her best friend uh, working the in, in the you know the house for Michaels and she ended up doing catering for them so a very lovely series go read up on it um, if you guys are interested do support the manga car by purchasing the official manga sadly to say this one uh, has no English versions yen press does not have licensing for this kind of thing so there's only the Japanese version of the manga um, I think there are Chinese versions of this but you know unless you guys know how to read Chinese uh, I would avoid that <laughs> okay so let's move on to the rest of the stuff uh, I think this video is gonna end up like half an hour again <laughs> um, okay so it might have ended up becoming longer if I had to unbox all this stuff. So I have all the other smaller goodies here. Um, I'm going to take them out bit by bit. So um, another stuff that I got from Amazon. This is a Jiny, um, you know, uh, no, no, what did I say? Jiny? <laughs> a tiny, <laughs> a tiny pouch. Um, okay, so it's a tiny Ita bag that I've been planning to get for Ranka, my Nandroid. Um, to carry around I didn't want something too big like um, those that you can put can badges or even um, you know shikishi artwork that kind of stuff not so not something too crazy a bit more subtle so a green um, tiny ita bag for Ranka in the future and of course I got this um, okay, I'm gonna move away this box because it's a bit annoying to hold I got this camp cup so um, it's a stainless steel cup of course when you hear camp it means Euro camp so here it is Euro camp and there's only a sticker to tell you that it's Euro camp the rest of it is just the official company that is printing it so this cup I had to get it um, there were two different designs I think for Rin and Nadeshiko so I got the one for Rin because she's my best girl in the anime series and of course at the back of the cup there is the logo for Yuru Cam gives a bit of a baseball feel that's pretty nice and of course a stainless steel cup very nice the cover that lets you sip your hot tea coffee whatever that you're gonna be brewing within here so I needed a cup like this that can probably hold hot drinks for a long period of time um, so the company that actually produces it is Mizu which is water in Japanese so that's pretty fantastic so yeah I uh, got too many cups <laughs> I got, I've got a lot of porcelain cups though uh, all with anime designs on them um, but nothing like this so this is the first all right so putting this aside let's move on to the next item now the thing is I'm not a Detective Conan fan, <laughs> I've never been, but I am a Kaito Kid fan. <laughs> so, are you guys Kaito Kid fans? I am definitely a Kaito Kid fan. Um, I, 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 I fancy him more than, you know, <laughs> Conan from the Detective Conan series. Although Kaito Kid has his own series, it's actually a separate thing. He, isn't, he doesn't really belong to the Detective Conan world. It just happens to fit well with the story so they crossed over and then sales went high up the roof and they've they've always been together ever since then so 
<laughs> okay, so Kaito Kid. Yeah, Figma Kaito Kid. Okay, so for the Macross fans, this is a bit old by the time I show it to you guys, but you know, it's still considerably new. Um, which is the Rankali Kyuposuke figures. This, these are UFO catcher exclusive figures. So if you guys are able to get this within your own country, do get them. Uh, there is a Cheryl Gnome version of this as well. I probably might show you guys Cheryl Gnome in the next unboxing video in the future because I did manage to get a whole of a set, um, but they are not for me. <laughs> so I'll show you guys those in the future. Cheryl Gnome is a bit older, Ranka is a bit newer. So if you guys are Ranka Lee fans just like myself, uh, go grab yourself um, a set. So this this one is the normal color. I'm sure you guys recognize Ranka's regular Sekan Hiko color costume. And of course the, the alternate color. This one is a bit rarer because apparently if you guys if if you know how um, they sell prizes for UFO catcher arcades um, the, the alternate colors usually tend to have like lesser pieces than the regular ones so these are more common to find if you're looking for them they are around the price range about 1200 yen um based off um you know the average pricing that people are auctioning them off away um when these were launched <laughs> the covid 19 situation just dived deep into its chaos so Sadly to say, the Japanese couldn't play for them regularly and win them off UFO catcher machines. Um, so the retailers had to go and sell them off individually, but still making a bit of money because, well, they, the prices that they sold them off at are definitely higher than what they paid for in bulk. So yeah <laughs> all right so moving along i'm gonna just dump these back into the box i have a pack here yes more yuru cam stuff because i am just crazy for yuru cam um so this one is another ufo catcher prize i didn't know they were ufo catcher prizes until i went to read detailedly what they were so um they are actually mini plushies that um, you can hang on your back so we have Rin here um, then we have Nadeshiko then we have the rest of the girls from their school so this is a uh, Chiaki and um, my favorite girl <laughs> uh, Aoi then um, we have here in the cram corner uh, this is uh, Anna Saito Anna um, who is also the same voice uh, as um, Takagi-san, if you guys know I'm a big Takagi-san fan uh, or Takahashi Rie fan right now so yeah <laughs> so more Euro Camp plushies very adorable stuff um, they are quite expensive though because um, they are all individual UFO prizes so I kind of got lucky I paid only about 2400 yen for a pack of this so that's very cheap considering but you know the shipping cost is whew. <laughs> okay so here are the last three items that I got and uh, within this three the two of them are from well one from May and one from June so I'm gonna show you guys one first that is not you know together which is this i waited very long for this um i ordered this two months back <laughs> it took them almost a month to send it to me because well book depository is from australia australia is like next door to singapore but somehow or rather it still takes them a month to send it to me um it is this the animal crossing new horizons english version guidebook um it is not as thick as the japanese one this one is like probably two fingers broad um, but in terms of height this is this is a lot bigger um, as you can see compared to my head it is huge <laughs> um, the Japanese one is a lot smaller in terms of height um, probably maybe about three quarters in height um, if I do order the Japanese one in the future I will compare both of them for you guys um, especially if you're Animal Crossing fans you might want to decide maybe should I buy the Japanese version of the guide because I can read Japanese uh, and it has more details or the kind of thing or should I just go for the English one um, the thing about the English one is this one is a lot um, 
I would I wouldn't say cheaper. It's almost the same price as the Japanese one. Of course, um, not inclusive of shipping and all that kind of stuff. But just in terms of the price of the item itself, they're almost similar. The Japanese and English one in terms of pricing. But in terms of content and pages, I am not too sure myself. The English one is lacking in terms of pages. This one has only about I think it was. 200 plus pages while the Japanese one has 400 to 500 plus pages but of course the height the, <laughs> the size of the book in terms of height um, might be the cause of it why the Japanese one has more pages than read you know the, the English one does so yeah so I look forward to you know maybe comparison video in the future if I do end up buying the Japanese guide as well because somehow or other I became a hardcore Animal Crossing fan along the way although Animal Crossing New Horizon is my very first Animal Crossing game on a console um, if you want to count it as a very first Animal Crossing game no it isn't I, I did play Pocket Camp as my first Animal Crossing game but you know um, it is not exactly the same experience as the console versions of the Animal Crossing franchise Alright, the last item of this unboxing video, finally, finally, we are here. Um, this one is pretty special because it is two different prints for the same thing. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys what I got first. This is the limited edition vinyl for Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, so it's a vinyl soundtrack for Final Fantasy 7 um, I probably might show you guys um, you know some kind of video along here um, me unboxing or you know unboxing the actual vinyl set itself um, then the other thing that I actually got <laughs> this one is actually released a lot later than the vinyl the vinyl was released first um, so yeah, so this one is the limited edition version of the Final Fantasy VII Remake CD soundtrack collection. And of course, um, I, I actually ordered this one off Amazon Japan. So this is the Japanese version of um, the soundtrack. As you can tell, the whole bunch of text here are all in Japanese. So this one came with the covers of the artworks. Um, I think it's a notepad. It looks like a notepad, but I, I'm yeah. I'm just like the vinyl. I probably show a video of the the unboxing of the items here. So yeah. So I ended up buying both the CD version and the vinyl soundtrack because well, um, that's how much I like Final Fantasy. 7. Um, it doesn't have to be the remake. I mean, I am a big fan of the original PS1 game and now I'm also a big fan of the remake for the PS4. Um, I'm looking forward for part 2 whenever that's going to happen. So, fantastic stuff. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to pick them up yourself, um, do take note though, the vinyl is actually getting very expensive because it's very limited in prints. Uh, and, you know, they, they call it limited edition, but the thing is, there's only one kind. <laughs> So there's no regular edition of the vinyl, there's only a limited edition version, but yet they still call it, call it limited edition. Uh, I don't understand branding, but you know, still. <laughs> okay, so um, mine, I got it pretty cheap though. I got this at 6,500 yen. Originally it was priced, um, I think it was 11,000 yen or more on the Square Enix store. Okay, so I didn't mind mine being second hand, but if you guys want to get this for yourself, uh, you probably might have to search a bit harder because they are very rare right now and they are going really crazy in prices. Um, I've seen some of them going for I think about 14,000 yen and that's the cheapest I've seen being auctioned off it's just the starting bid price so <laughs> if you guys want to get this for yourself uh, all the best I suppose well the well the CD soundtrack is you know still available I guess maybe maybe not by the time you're watching this maybe not so same thing as the vinyl um, if you're planning to get these for yourself, 
uh, I wish you all the best. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for um, the month of May and a bit of June. So yeah, let me guys know what your thoughts on the items as always. Um, do you guys see anything that interests you personally, be it um, Macross CDs, Eurocamp, plushies, uh, Macross Frontier, plastic figures, or even maybe, you know, these awesome traditional poster style <laughs> for you know if you're if you're an asian you probably might find this intriguing um if you're a foreigner if you find this intriguing uh that's that's pretty cool i mean if you're invested in all the different cultures around the world something like this um can probably pique your interest and uh, maybe you can sh set up your own coffee shop in your own country and have this or have your own people in your own country order coffee in this way rather than you know like double shot single shot <laughs> whatever <laughs> standard coffee um, ordering methods you have been using in your own country um, the american way the english way the i don't know there's so many ways of ordering coffee um, but i end up you know they taste different because of certain things but it's still a cup of dirty bean juice at the end of the day so anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me on another month of unboxing um as you as usual like i said in early portion of the video um if you want to check out poster hub for yourself the links in the description as again as how many times have i actually promoted them this video uh, and of course um let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the you know the idea of changing the name for this show to the culture unboxing or the culture time or i don't know if you guys can think up for something better let me know in the comments you know and we'll, we'll consider something new and fresh for this this series this show i don't know <laughs> I, i've still yet to think of what this actually is <laughs> it's it's kind of an unboxing video but yet uh i don't know it's it's all over the place right now so <laughs> i'm still finding my tone my my voice on my youtube channel uh so yeah anyway guys thank you guys so much for the support as always if you guys watch through the entire thing let me know by hitting that like button uh of course if you enjoyed the contents you can hit that like button too subscribe for more deck culture nonsense like this uh in, you know another one month for a few weeks from now <laughs> I, i've got some last few packages coming for the month of june so look forward to an unboxing maybe maybe in another two or three weeks time who knows anyway guys thank you guys i will see you guys soon bye